All right, people, we have an interesting video here for you guys. So OCG has got their V-Jump, and with their V-Jump, they got a new ban list. So despite being mostly a TCG player, I still like to look at OCG's ban list, get a lot of precedent from them, uh, you know, going back and forth, especially since how liberal they are. Like, I already know I'm about to eat a huge liberalness sandwich because if you guys don't know, I'm a very conservative player. I'd rather have shit hit, 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 and not see shit move for a long time because my thing is, like, you already done it once. If I give you a shit back, you're probably going to do it again. I'm not a big fan of that. And we're going to see some of that here on this list right here. So, like, ugh. Anyway, I'm still sick. I apologize if I still sound a little stuffed up, but I'm going to get you guys this video. We're going to go ahead and put in the banlist archive and, uh, you know, wait until the next banlist season size banlist, whether it be OCG or TCG. So, I believe that last time they got their list was sometime in, like, July, and it really wasn't much. Like, they moved, like, sand game. They moved really mo mostly, the, they just moved cards up. They didn't really hit anything. So, this is their list, um, you know, generally the flawless, where shit gets hit, so... Go ahead and start it off. Uh, start with this image. Like, I don't know who this, these characters are. I mean, obviously, I know this is Kaiba, this is Renji, this is, uh, you know, this is Yusei, but who are these people? Because, I mean, if you think that this looks like Kaiba, I don't know what the fuck you're smoking. Like, give me something, because that, that's clearly not Kaiba. But uh, I'm just, I don't know who these people are. But, I mean, I mean, it's Japan, it's their comic book, whatever, you know, it's their V drum. But uh, anyway, this is their ban list. Their ban list goes into effect from October 1st onward. So uh, maybe they'll get an update in 2017. We don't know. We'll just, you know, keep watching. It's not something you should be too excited for, but it's a nice thing to go ahead and look at precedence. So, uh, starting off, they got banned. Level Eater. Alright, so Mega Capital G was all over him, so he was just feeling himself about this one. Uh, he recently put up a video that should Level Eater be banned, and you know, I was pretty much agreeing with him. Level Eater is a, it's not a broken card, but it's a broken card. It was made in the era where, uh, you know, things weren't once per turn, only once it was like, if Level Eater literally came out today, it'd be like, you can only use the effect of Level Eater once per turn. But of course it came out in that era, you've seen Level Eater use, you know, 15, 16, 17 times in turn, you know, if you take the maxi challenge to get to synchro deck and they have low eater, you're dead, because you're, they're just gonna make you draw so many times, that that's pretty much it, uh, it was kind of a healthy card, especially, uh, in the era that's probably in with that dark synchro, uh, that it's a key player in that deck, so I, I understand that, um, hopefully it gets an errata and comes back to us, but, um, I'm not gonna have any toward bias towards it, you know, I was in agreement, when Meg Capital G uploaded that video and he got, like, 500 dislikes plus on it, I didn't like that. I didn't dislike it. I actually liked it because I agreed with him. And, uh, you, you know, love him or hate him, you gotta know that that guy, when he talks about shit, sometimes it comes true. I mean, when he talked about Lavalo Chain, when he talked about Keating, when he talked about, uh, he talked about something else. He talked about something else. And, you know, it comes true. You know, a level year, you know, for example. Uh, so, very, very good. Next guy, OG, that's a fine call. So, level editor, go ahead and take the, take the band for right now, get a rotted, come back to us, and, uh, do something for Synchro Dex again. So, Synchro Dex are kind of a little bit of hiatus. I know Renji was kind of mad about that, because, uh, <laughs> Renji, Renji, Renny, Renji, I just talked about Renji. Renny was kind of upset about that, because he's a big Synchro guy, but, you know, take that out. I know, I know, freaking, uh, Forever Epic is probably pissed off about that, too, but, Hey, you know, you know, we got we got to clean up the game. When you start taking advantage of shit, I mean, it's got to go. Like, it counts a Coliseum, right? All right, but that's not the only forbidden card. All right. Uh, I didn't know that Dark Synchro or that kind of play was really predominant in the OCG. I know we're starting to see it here in the TCG. Uh, definitely seeing some uh, some Dark Synchro shenanigans in the TCG over here. So, ugh. And so maybe we can uh, take precedence off of that and ban Love Leader next time on our list. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so limited to one, Cyberstein. See, this is one of those things where you think it's okay, and in the end it's not okay. So, they on the OCG unbanned Cyberstein. Then they ended up putting it to three, now it's back to limited. I always thought, especially when there's some people over here, like, oh yeah, we can unban Cyberstein. I was like, no. Cyberstein is, uh, you, oh my god, you pay 5,000 life points. Life points don't mean shit. They really don't, you know. Uh, and if it gets you broken ass plays, especially something like, you know, a last wave from another planet, exterior and all that shit, then oh yeah. And then you're thinking like, oh you could just kill the, the Cyberstone and they take a bunch of damage. Not when they're playing Metaphos and they just pop the Cyberstone so you never get your hands on it. There you go, you know? Then you're just dealing with an exterior or a last wave from another planet who's fucking your day up. So uh, he was three, they lowered the consistency, he's down to one now, but I still think, you know, it's pretty much a win more card. Whoever pretty much uh, gets this, especially in um, Metaphors, and plays, does his play, it's a sacky card, it really is. Uh, I'm glad over here in TCG we never unbanned him, and uh, out of things that we unbanned and they unbanned, you know, I definitely think that Cybersign is on the upper echelon of the list of things that uh, shouldn't be unbanned, you know. Uh, he does an Adorata and, you know, fuck the 5,000 life points, use something, any future monster from your extra deck, including exterior last one from another planet, and fucking, uh, window, window, like, nah, nah, alright, 
I don't know about that. Uh, next is Magician of Fang. I thought this was actually a hit. I thought it was like so similar to Cybertron that they put it down to one. I forgot. They never unbanned Magician of Faith. We did. We put up the three. And they never did. Uh, now, it's, of course, a little bit different. They do have Monster Reborn. They do have uh, uh, Harvey's Feather Duster. It's a little bit different. But still, I think it's going to be a little bit too slow. This card announces you will probably move up to three. Uh, not even Metaphones are going to help. Like, you can, like, set her and then, you know, what? They're not attacking to you. Like, you're really going to use your precious normal summon to, to set a Magician of Faith. I doubt it. So, similar to over here, I'll probably just move up to three. No one will play and it'll be fine, you know. It should just slow up. Like, if she was a little bit faster, I can understand. I mean, grabbing a spellback from the Grand Rise is ridiculous, the fact. She's definitely one of the stronger foot monsters, but that's the problem. She's a foot monster, so. All right. Uh, moving on, you know, uh, Magic Spectre Unicorn Key. We did it over here, and to say, uh, since the ban list these last couple of weeks, we've been doing okay, I must say. Um... It, it was working out fine. I won the Kisses News Lore. I've seen a couple of um, uh, Magic Shirts, but the, you know, the core isn't cute. The only thing I've really been seeing is it's just Pendulum Dock, that, oh, I mean Metal Fells, but they play a handful of everything anyway, so, you know, maybe you gotta hit the core, maybe you gotta hit the, the Metal Fells themselves and, you know, break down, you know, their play, because, they, you know, they're literally it's just Metal Fells with their generic scans, their popping effects, just throwing everything that's good in Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and that includes the Magic Specters and Keating, and there you go, so... At least the consistency is lowered, I guess, and both OCG and TCG. It makes sense. I mean, Kitty was putting in work over there in the OCG, and then they started putting work in here, and then we hit it first, and I guess they actually took some precedence off of that. So that's not too terrible. I, li I like when we, you know, see off of each other, and, since, and despite us having two different games, that, you know, we can come together for the greater good of hating things. But that's just the concern with me. Next, we have Cypher Mega. That is perfect, yes. Omega needs to be hit down to one. Uh, now, Mega Capital G was kind of being a little... Uh, uh, salty. He was like, oh man, you shouldn't hit Omega, that kills Cyphrans. N nigga, you literally just ban, they literally just ban level you. That kills, you know, any semblance of Junk Doppel or Synchro or whatever. They kind of need that level leader. So, for him to be kind of, you know, two sides of one corner, I didn't like that bullshit. But, Omega, you gotta be limited to one. Now, that's definitely a card limited one. Because he's pretty much in the same boat as Trish. You can't give multiple Trish. Trish cannot go in either one because someone, one, some way, some way, some shape, some form, someone will do multiple Trish and pick everything out of your hand. And what is Omega doing right now? Trish plus Three Omegas pick it everything out of your hand. He pretty much says that you can't play. Some things with wind up. We can't give wind ups all their shit back. We would have to ban Hunter. And similar to OCG, they have Hunter ban. And while they do have the wind up shit, like, you cannot promote shit like picking out of your opponent's hand. It's just a big no no in Yu Gi Oh! And Omega does that, you know? So, Omega going down to one is a definite. Hopefully, we can follow that example, especially if Dark Synchro uh, persists to be this format. So, that's a totally fine hit. Like, I'm fine with, I'm fine with. Uh, like I said, I'm fine with us being at band, but if they want to go ahead and try to clean up a limit, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So all of us, the forbiddens and the limits, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, because I'm still sick. I'm fine with all right, let's get to the liberal shit, all right? I'm ready. I'm, I'm probably going to die this liberalness, and I'm going to get my opinion on everything, but just know, if, if you're wanting you know, more of these cards to move up right now and here in the TCG, I'm probably going to say no, because I'm very, very, very conservative. So starting off, we have Artifact Moral Attack. I am fine with Moral Attack being that one, because I think the Artifact Engine, to this day, is still really good. I've seen... Demise, Artifact, Cosmos, and that shit's pretty good. Just the fact that you can use your Sanctums, which is still at 3, so in Moral Talk to Spot Pop, Spot Pop during your opponent's turn, that's strong. That's pretty strong, even with uh, DDs and Witch. Spot Popping during your opponent's turn, interrupting your place, we see it in even Dark Lords. It's very strong, very strong, you know? Uh, you're pretty much just promoting more plays of artifacts and more plays of, you know, Scythe and all that. And those are very interrupting plays. So I think that there's still going to be played if Mara Tech either goes up to like two or three. I really do. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'm not a big fan of them. I think that they, they've had their time in the spotlight and they're really just uh, too strong and too interrupting of a play uh, to be, you know, splashed. And of course, if that was at three and that was a thing, especially if Hat was here today. Uh, it would definitely be a card that would play Demise, and it's totally what we need to promote more shit to play, you know, card Demise. I mean, come on. That, that card is sacky and stupid, and, you know, the Artifact Engine and, and all that, that's sacky too, so. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. It'll probably go up to 30 in the OCG, but uh, here in the, LG, in the TCG, I think that Raw Touch would probably just stay at 1. BLS, oh, come on, no. Uh, BLS, I think, is one of those cards that should forever stay at 1. Forever. Him, Radom, there's a, there's, a, there's a ton of cards. It's just, you stay at 1 forever, no matter what. And for them to bring B BLS up to 2, that's crazy. But, I mean, these are the same guys who bought Dark Armed up to 2. Oh, I need to restart my computer. <laughs> uh... So, no, no, I am not a big fan of BLS Gump 2. Like, I'm already, I, the BLS is a monster you should fear, you know? Uh, he can jump out the bushes and stab you. He can win game by himself. I've seen it plenty of times. 
Summoning him with no cost, 6,000 beater, banish, die twice. Like, come on, come on. So, double BLS, oh my god, that, that will kill you in, in a matter of seconds. So, not a big fan of that, but I think that, in my opinion, BLS just forever stay out of Lamia. Uh, we got DD Lamia and DD Swirl Slime. I didn't even know that Lamia was played like that. Like, I, I, I definitely, if I would ever hit DD's, Lamia wouldn't be on the top of my list, you know. And Swirl Slime, I can, I, I can see that. Uh, when DD's come over him, they start doing their well. I don't think that they're gonna get hit with those two cards. I think it's definitely gonna be their consistency. It's probably gonna be Kepler. It's probably gonna be like their uh, continuous spell. Uh, it's probably gonna get lowered because our CCT Konami loves to hit consistency of shit. So, uh, but Lamia, like, okay, like uh, I didn't even know they played three, but I guess I mean that is why it helps you bust out the crystal map. So, um, what's the mind magician? Uh, like I said, we finally got to their pace. Uh, we hit was my the list before, and then we finally hit a uh, pendulum call, which, in my opinion, was the card that needed to hit more. I was I was definitely a pendulum call with wisdom mine, but uh, I mean, it seems like they're just gonna start giving them more shit back, and that's really like half of this list is just like let's give them their shit back. And like I said, I'm I'm not for giving people the shit back unless it's like a year, at least like two years time, like. Magicians have literally been here. Like, if anything, especially with how the Machendo mechanic is, I wouldn't move anything pendulum area. Right? If it was a really strong pendulum based mechanic, I wouldn't touch it. If it get hit and we see it, I see it as much anymore, good. That, that's how I feel about it. So, uh, like I said, if Wisdom I can move before pendulum call, but right now, actually, how how shit is going with that, how we we did with pendulum dot deck last format, I probably wouldn't move anything related to pendulum. I mean, the Wisdom is still pretty good. Uh, Dragonfly, oh hell no, that's another one of those cards that you could never move. I don't care what you say. Insectors will can pop your all your shit and one up you, especially with your pendulum scales. You know, it's just like pop your bat scale, pop that scale, go into that, smash some of that. That's that, that like Insectors are still pretty good. And they still and they do have three hornet two dragonfly? No 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 no. You got three hornet. You cannot have three dragonfly. Never, ever, ever, for never, ever, never, ever, ever, never. Like holy shit. You're gonna get it. Your entire field popped. You know, so that's just another level shit. Mathematician, no. Mathematician forever has to stay away. Mathematician is literally in the same boat as Foolish Barrel. You have one Mathematician, you could send one monster, like, it's literally a walking Foolish Barrel for level 4 alarm monsters that replaces itself. Not even Foolish does that. Foolish is the neck. Mathematician, the new even out, and you get to send a level 4 alarm. Like, it's just kind of interesting that in the list that you ban level eater, you bring Mathematician up too. Because if you just limit level eater, then you still have Mathematician, you know? So, no, Mathematician has to stay at one. I don't care. You know, should all of them do it? No, Mathematician is literally. Be a walking foolish. Lava chain has the lava chain has to stay banned. Wolf should stay at one. Matt should just stay at one. You know, uh, and then Beatrice too. You know, Beatrice she's fine at one too. You know, uh, and Milo it's mostly going to be a hit. The fact that she's also uh, you know kind of like a walking foolish, but at least she's a rank six play. You know, so uh, chair. You know what I mean? They hit they hit chair. We never hit chair. And is sticking chair still ridiculously good? Hell yeah. People are like, oh, it's power creep. Hell no. You know? You literally draw three cards, pop some shit, or a brows pick something in my hand. Like, come on, man. Like, we're, just, we're, just, we're seeing sticking chair right now, especially with uh, Ben 10 and a Herald deck. Like, they go plus on your ass, drawing more fairies for a Herald the gate. Like, it's very, very powerful. Very powerful. Um, El Shadal Fusion to two. I could have swear they moved that to two previously. Or did we move that to two? I don't even know. No, I don't think, I don't think so. Maybe? Hold on. Let, let me check. Let me check. Nope, 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 nope. We have it at one, they have it at one, but now they have it at two. Okay, card truck is still banned. That's all you have to say about that. So, you know, as long as card truck is banned, you can give strolls everything. And, and that's probably the most liberal thing that you hear out of my mouth. <laughs> you know, as long as card truck is banned, you can give strolls everything. But as soon as I see construct to one, then hell no. So, uh, Monster Gate. See, this is one of those things. You literally, you, you bought reasoning after three, you bought Monster Gate after three, then you hit the back down to one, and we hit uh, reasoning after number one, and then you just move Monster Gate back up again. Like, you need to fucking decide where you want shit, kind of, I mean, OCG, because you just move shit all over the fucking place. Like, holy shit. Just off the list, off the list, move up to the list, up, down the list, up to the list. Like, no, 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 no. Monster Gate and reasoning stay at one. They are dumb. You're summoning a monster out of your deck like that, that's dumb, you know? I'm sorry, Infernoids, but you, you know it to be true. It's not, they're not even your cards. It's not like it's Infernoids. Monster gates, literally just monster gates. So. Uh, and then once again, domain of the true monarchs. Like I think that our list, our hits in the TCG were better. I think as their storm points and pantheism. Of course, they did pantheism too, and better while they did pantheism and domain. But I would like to see a little bit given uh, in exchange for the domain. You know, like storm forth in the OCG. Because it's just like, hey, his domain to two, his domain to three. Oh, now you only hit his pantheism. Here, here comes back monarch. So, you know, it's just like, eh, you know. Um, I still think that marks are fairly good in both ends, so 
all right, OCG, you know, like, you just hit Monarchs. You just hit Monarchs, and you're going to give me their shit back. Like, come on. Come on. Like, it's too soon. Give them, give them a couple years. All right, and then we have our limits. Scout. I think Scout should stay at two at the, at the most. At the most. Uh, like, I get it. Like, some people try to compare Scout to Monkey Board. It is a one-card pension scale, so in that fact, I, I can understand why you definitely would say it one. But you can only summon clean monsters. And that in itself is just like, wow, you know. Uh, I don't. I hate to have the stone in Pendulum Dot deck, and uh, you can um, make uh, Infinity off of that. I hate that. I hate that you can just go scout, pay the 800 search, and then play your um, your Metaphos, pop the scout, Pendulum summon the two monsters, make Infinity. But that's Pendulum Dot deck. Like, uh, without the Metaphos popping the, the scout, you really didn't be that play. You would literally lock yourself into doing anything. So, but. Uh, I mean, okay, like with triple scalp and triple skill drain in T in OCG, that's here in T that'd be a tier one deck. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, Mega Captain Jr. about that. Same game. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, it's literally coming out in that uh, Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaohs here in TCG. Actually, today, uh, September sixteenth. So next list, same game will probably go from zero to three unbanned with his Arana. There you go. So that's fun. Doesn't matter trick. Yeah, we did that. So uh, they put it to two uh, in their July list, and then now they're doing three. Uh, charge, I don't know how I feel about that. Charge, I always feel like it's way too strong and, and high consistency of dropping in uh, uh, JD. And, of course, JD weapon in the field, especially with, you know, the pendulum mechanic and everything. I mean, that's good. Just blow everything up. I mean, we've seen, um, I mean, come on. Fucking Math Matrician is a one-card Black Roads, and you got high consistency of JD. Like, there's going to be a lot of field wiping, like we already know. So I think I think the charge is probably a card that can stay at two, and I don't think it's going to move to three and TCG, because look how long it's been at uh, at two and TCG. Unless now they're going to be like, all right, person, we'll move it up to three, because OCG did it. I don't know, but I, I wouldn't predict it, because if we were going to move it, we were going to move it a long time ago. We never did. This this is just straight up cancer. Are you fucking shitting me? No, fuck this. Fuck Gateway. Man, like, wow, wow. Triple Gateway, triple shit. Like, literally, six samurais are at full power, except they only have one right But still, like, holy shit. Like, uh, I'm I'm fine with the gateway being banned. It's literally on a penalty card. It's pretty much saying like, hey, you're playing six seven, get summon all you fucking want, and you literally have a three thirty three percent chance. I open up with this card. You can open it with beast. You can open it with Barkion, You can open it with Exterior. You can open it with Shian. Like, holy shit! Like, if that was here in the TCG, that would be fucking straight up cancer. Like. There's just the fact that that can consistently make a beast makes it a very viable deck because this format's very spell uh, heavy. You know, uh, the only way you're not going to get is out as uh, PK Fire, but if you slide accordingly for PK Fire, I can see Six Emeralds deck topping just with triple gateway. So no, 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 that deck. This card is unhealthy. I don't care if Six Emeralds aren't doing anything. This card is literally unhealthy. So not a big fan of that. Uh, since your Shadow Games three, like I said, I don't care. We never had Shadow Games either. Uh, and that card's at three, so you can move that. Like I said, as long as Car Truck is gone, I don't care. And uh, last but not least, Wall of Light. Like, they move Wall of Light, but they also banned um, uh, Life Equalizer. We never did, so, you know, because that would be dumb to go Wall of Light. Like, even our Life Points, Life Equalizer, put our Life Points the same. Uh, you know, drop with uh, Wall of Light, Life Equalizer, and then play something to fucking burn your opponent to make it game. You know, that would be sucky, so. All right, we still have well, Wild Ring Light. One well, doesn't seem like it's going to be moving time soon in TCG, but overall, like, there's some things I like, there's some things I dislike, very conservative. I wouldn't touch this fucking list with a 10-foot pole, but that's just me. So I'm just conservative like that. So uh, if you don't like hearing my conservative self, I'm, I apologize, but that's just how I feel. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about OCG's October 1st uh, band list. And uh, like I said, I think our next list will be probably early 2017, probably in January. Uh, clean up and make a couple of changes to make room for DDDs and TCG. So I'll probably be doing my balance prediction in sometime in December. So look forward to that. But I'm keeping my eye open, uh, making changes on my list accordingly, and then I'll give you guys my prediction. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time. There's some more bandless news or prediction. All right, people, thanks for watching.